Russian forces have gained ground around the Ukrainian-controlled town of Avdivka, new maps show, as Kyiv's counteroffensive against Moscow's troops moves into the tougher winter months. Russian forces advanced north and southwest of the Donetsk town of Avdivka on Friday, also claiming some advances north and south of the city on Saturday, according to the U.S.-based think tank, the Institute for the Study of War. In recent days, fighting between Ukrainian and Russian forces has intensified around the eastern town of Avdivka, in what has been described as a major Russian offensive effort on the key settlement. At least three Russian battalions are thought to be involved in the push, which follows months of the Kremlin's troops battling back against Ukraine's attempts to gain ground in Donetsk and the southern Zaporizhia region. On Saturday, Russian President Vladimir Putin said his troops were improving their position in almost the entire area of the front line. Taking control of Avdivka would be a significant victory for Russian fighters in Donetsk, and a real blow to Ukrainian soldiers now more than four months into the counteroffensive effort. Ukraine had seen the Russian attack on Avdivka coming, a spokesperson for Kyiv's military intelligence agency said earlier this week, and there are indications that it had prepared for the assault, such as by laying mines, the ISW said. Around 1,600 residents are still living in Avdivka, Vitaly Barabish, who heads up the town's military administration, has previously estimated. It had a pre-war population of around 30,000. On Sunday, the Ukrainian general staff said Russian forces, unsuccessfully, tried to break through its defenses around Avdivka. Kyiv's forces fended off 15 Russian attacks around Avdivka and surrounding settlements, the military said. Barabish said on Saturday that Russian forces are striking with everything they have. There is no information confirming that Russia controls the Avdivka coke plant to the northwest of the city, despite conflicting reports from Russian sources, the ISW said on Friday. Newsweek has contacted the Russian Ministry of Defense via email for comment. As the assault got underway, Andriy Yermak, the head of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's office, said earlier this week that Avdivka was under mass attacks of Russian artillery and aviation. Our army is now holding positions in difficult battles, Yermak wrote in a post to the Telegram messaging app on Friday. Late on Saturday night local time, Zelensky placed Avdivka at the top of the list of fighting hotspots, saying, I thank everyone who is holding their positions and destroying Russian troops. Russian forces have lost 127 tanks, 239 armored personnel vehicles APVs, and 161 artillery systems in a week, Kyiv has said, as Russia steps up its attacks on Ukrainian defenses in eastern Ukraine. Moscow's forces lost 8 tanks, 25 APVs and 33 artillery systems in the past day, Ukraine's general staff said on Sunday. Newsweek cannot independently confirm Kyiv's numbers, and has reached out to the Russian Defense Ministry for comment via email. The war has proved costly for both sides as they burned through significant amounts of military equipment and sustained heavy casualties, but it is hard to gain an accurate picture of the scale of each side's losses so far. The reported losses have mounted as Ukraine's counteroffensive grinds on, working to roll back Russian control in eastern and southern Ukraine since early June. The Ukrainian military had hoped to make sweeping gains before harsher, muddier fall and winter conditions set in, but with creeping advances along points of the front lines, significant victories have been slow to materialize for Kyiv's fighters. On Saturday, Russia's defense ministry said Ukraine's military had lost a total of 12,598 tanks and armored combat vehicles since Moscow's troops crossed into Ukraine on February 24, 2022. Ukraine's eastern Donetsk and southern Zaporizhia regions have been hotspots of fighting, with Ukraine claiming control of a smattering of villages along the front lines there in the past few months. Russian President Vladimir Putin illegally annexed four Ukrainian regions, including Donetsk and Zaporizhia, in September 2022, although his forces do not fully control any of them. On Sunday, Kyiv's general staff said there had been 60 combat clashes over the past 24 hours, and that around 100 Ukrainian sites across the north, east and south of the country had come under artillery fire. Russian forces, unsuccessfully, 
tried to break through Ukrainian defenses around the Kyiv-controlled eastern town of Avdivka, the general staff said in an operational update. Our Avdivka is under mass attacks of Russian artillery and aviation, Andriy Yermak, the head of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's office, said earlier this week. However, geolocated footage from the past few days indicate that Russian forces have advanced south of the town, as well as in positions north of Avdivka, the U.S. think tank, the Institute for the Study of War, said on Saturday. Elsewhere along the front lines, Russian forces had, no success, in launching five attacks to regain territory around the Zaporizhia town of Robotyne, Ukraine said. In a statement on Saturday, Russia's defense ministry said Russian forces repelled five attacks from Ukrainian mechanized brigades in its National Guard around Robotyne and the neighboring village of Verbo. Fighting has also continued around the decimated eastern Ukrainian city of Bakhmut, Kyiv's military said. Russian forces had lost 287,770 troops in Ukraine since the beginning of its full-scale invasion on February 24 last year, the General Staff of Ukraine's armed forces reported in its daily update on the morning of October 15. This number includes 880 casualties Russian forces suffered just over the past day.